United States became a society that encouraged everyone to follow the white middle class ways of life. They then started Americanization efforts to help the immigrants become more like white middle class. Reformers believed that this would make them more loyal and moral citizens. Many progressives thought it was scientifically proven that dark-skinned people were less intelligent than white people. Soon after, laws were passed that said dark-skinned people are not allowed to vote. African Americans demand reform. The most visible African American lead, leader urged patience. Booker T. Washington told blacks to move slowly toward racial progress. The most outspoken among them were W.E.B. Du Bois and William Monroe Trotter. Both urged American, African Americans demand immediately all the rights guaranteed by the Constitution. African Americans formed the Niagara Movement. The Niagara Movement denounced the idea of gradual progress. The the Niagara Movement never grew to more than a few hundred strong. To make a difference, African Americans need more powerful voice. African Americans formed the Urban League. African Americans were migrating from rural to urban areas during this period. In 1911, more than 100 of these groups and many cities joined into a network called the Urban League. NACP help middle-class blacks and the Urban League focus on poorer workers. Riots lead to information of NAACP. In the summer of 1908, a white mob in Springfield, Illinois attempted to lynch two African-American prisoners in the city jail. The Niagara Movement now acknowledged the need to help African-Americans protect their lives, win the right to vote, secure their civil rights, and the Springfield riot joined the Niagara Movement to form the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Yeah. The Anti-Defamation League aids Jews. Jews in New York had formed the B'nai B'rith in 1843. In response to growing anti-Semitism, the group formed the Anti-Defamation League in 1913. Mexican Americans organize. Mexican Americans living in Arizona formed the Partido Liberal Mexicano, or the PLO, which offered Mexican Americans many of the same services that the Urban League gave to African Americans. There. In several states, Mexican Americans formed mutualistas groups that made loans and provided legal assistance. Native Americans take action. The Dawes Act passed in 1887 had divided reservations into plots for individuals to farm. By 1932, nearly two-thirds of the lands held by tribes in 1887 were in the hands of whites. Carlos Montezuma, a Native American from Arizona, helped establish the Society of American Indians in 1911, the first organization for Indian rights to protect federal Indian policy. Montezuma urged Native Americans to preserve their cultures and avoid being dependent on the government. Asian Americans fight unfair laws. In 1913, California law said that only American citizens could own land, and because Japanese immigrants could not become citizens, the law forced them to sell their land. Of course, Japanese Americans found a way around, the, around this by putting the land in their children's names because their children had been born in the U.S., therefore they were U.S. citizens. You okay? You back? When Takao Azawa fought the law in court that blocked Asian Americans from becoming citizens. In 1922, the court ruled against him.
Niagara Movement denounced the idea of gradual. Okay, start. In the summer of 1908, a White mob in Springfield, Illinois, attempted to lynch two African American prisoners in the city jail. The Niagara Movement now acknowledged the need to help African Americans protect their lives when the right to African Americans formed the Urban League.